of this family after my mega portion. <laughs> Which I still haven't gotten dinged. So that makes me very excited. Anyway, enough silliness. Um, how is everybody doing? How are you doing tonight, Becky? Oh, well, you know, hey. Hey, Aaron! Yeah, I I was just doing the, the last minute stuff as well. I was, um, finishing up my packing and hoping that I don't forget anything. So... Hey, the, the music should be, should be better now, or should be gone now, hopefully, with any luck, because I don't think there's any music on this. Um, so yeah, I figured we would finish up our family, and as part of that, I, I do have to let everybody know, I went ahead and placed the family in the house. Because I had forgotten that you cannot create an infant sim. So I, I had to place the family in the house and quickly get, uh, get our mother, get Siobhan pregnant. And she has had the baby. Huzzah. Yay. And I kind of just made the placeholder kids and gave them their names. But we'll customize them in Create a Sim here. So I figured our next one that we need to customize is Aoife, who actually, I think, honestly, skin tone, I think, is actually pretty good. And her hair and eye color, I don't know, we might want to actually make it a little bit different. But... Yeah, what do we think? Do, do we want her to be curly curly like Dad? Or should her hair be a little bit looser and straighter? Because we can do, we can do a lot. I don't know if she's a long hair girl, if she's a short hair girl. Mm. I do know that she is our, our little science nerd, but uh, not exactly sure what else we should do with her. Yeah, I mean, Dad, Dad is pretty curly, and Mom is pretty wavy, so I wasn't sure if we should go with curls or waves for her. Her personality, according to Becky, is she is a... A super genius she really enjoys science and she really enjoys space if you remember our space bedroom I think you were there for it Aaron um, she definitely is got the whole solar system going she is a, a very smart girl but I don't know how much she she is going to bother with hair and makeup, unlike her older sister, who is all about the hair and makeup. So I'm thinking maybe for every day we go with... Aaron seems to be into the curls. Oh, that's a cute look. All right, I'm kind of into that one, or that one. I don't know if we, we <laughs> like the uh, slightly shorter or the slightly longer curls. She's very cute, though. This whole family is very cute, actually. <laughs> So I'm going to stick with this for right now, and if we don't like it, just let me know. 
Yeah, that's true. Hair and makeup and being a nerd are not mutually exclusive, but keep in mind she's like, uh, I think Becky said that she is... She is age 12, so she probably doesn't have a whole lot of hair and makeup going. <laughs> hey, Becky, what do you think of this for Aoife? Do you like this, or do you think she should go with a little bit curlier? Also, welcome back. I'm kind of... Like, my... my thing is I think I like that a little mm. bit better, but what do you think? Because <laughs> you pretty much wrote this family. And don't worry, you didn't miss much. I, I did... Mm. You like the first one? Was that... Okay, wait. I am confused. Don't mind me. Was that one the first one, or was... Because, yeah, my brain is gone. Mm. As I get myself some more Fago, because I need the... I don't think this actually has caffeine. I was going to say I need the caffeine, but I don't think Fago has caffeine. Yeah, it's caffeine-free. Okay. I need the bubbles. The one on now. Okay. Mm. I think... I think we are good with that. Alright, I don't know what we have for clothing as far as... Oh, less curly with barrette. Okay, that's that's actually the one I kind of liked better, but I was willing to roll with. There we go. She's very cute. Um, do we want to keep her with the brown eyes like Mom, or should we go with Hazel before I move on? And obviously she's 12. I don't think she needs makeup yet. Oh, if you missed it, Becky, since you said your phone was being silly, um, I did place this family and play with them a little bit today. Mostly so that we could get uh, Siobhan pregnant and have Liam. And right now, <laughs> right now, actually, Liam is female, but... As Liam goes into toddlerhood, Liam can be switched to to male. Or, you know, Liam could just be non-binary, which is fine too. But yeah, I, I played with the family, and let me tell you, oh my god, um... Shirsha? 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 Is a pain in the... She is a pain in the rear end to play with. The very minute I placed her in the house, she decided that she hated the sun and um, basically was in a mood for the rest of the day. And then when she sat on the toilet, it gave me a moodlet saying that, um, that she got a Poseidon's kiss and I'm assuming that that just means that the toilet water splashed her, and then she was in a mood. She's she's always angry. <laughs> the high maintenance trait is definitely high maintenance. So it definitely wow. It it is a thing. All right, for her looks, we're gonna try not to to spend too too long on each look because mm. I actually have to make sure that this stream is a little bit shorter because I have a lot of driving to do. So that, that's sort of a bum thing. I mean, it's a good thing, but I'm already pre-tired. So does she have a signature color, Becky, or should we just look for things that look spacey? Pretty. 
made up just to... We got stars. That's kind of spacey. Like, Erin pointed out that just because she's... she wants to be a rocket scientist type person does not actually mean that she can't be a little bit on the girly side, but I figured we would defer to you. don't like that outfit. Just figured I'd throw that out there really quick. That one does nothing for me. But, for very formal occasion, that's a pretty color. Or even the purple. Hi, Lori! Good to see you! We are doing, it's going to probably be a shorter stream, and Aaron and Kai are going to make sure that it's a, a shorter stream, because I have a lot of driving to do, and I'm sure they don't want me to crash. So, do we like the blue or the purple? Because I'm kind of attached to this dress. Like, I think it's very cute. Probably with just a basic black shoe. Like, I mean, a little bit girly is fine. We do need to make sure... Did I mess up her hair? I did. Well, actually, I didn't, but I put it on on the wrong outfit. And so it's not going all the way across all of her looks. There we go. That is better. All right, formal. There we go. <laughs> the blue more for the dress? All right. We can do that, because it was very cute. Maybe, let's see what kind of jewelry we've got. Oh, hey, Becky, are her ears pierced or not? She could have cute little earrings, or we could just go the no earring look. But probably get her a cute little necklace. If that, that looks a little bit space. That's so cute. I think she's very, very. Oh, also, is she a glasses or a no glasses? I don't think it was said at all. I know Dad wears glasses, and I don't know if uh, Siobhan wears glasses or contacts. I mean, I know we didn't put glasses on her, but... Also, I'm not sure if I am lagging if it's just going to be one of those nights. <laughs> well, I mean, we can put the earrings mm. back on. Ears pierced? All right. Yeah, unfortunately, that is the only pair of earrings that seem to be on offer, at least for... That's a little bit better, but it looks like, yeah, that is 
the only earrings for kids. Y you think, uh, you think she's gonna need glasses? I mean, I stare at computer screens all the time, and I haven't needed glasses yet. At least as far as I know. Oh, she's... She is really cute with glasses on, though. Mm. You know, I, I actually have always had mm. a thing for glasses. I think they're very cute. I also think that that hat is really gross and needs to come off of her head. Um... You know what? <laughs> I think other than maybe changing the color on that... I don't hate that. I don't know if I love it, but I love it. Hmm. I keep looking to see if hmm. maybe she could have a robot sweatshirt. That's kind of cool. <laughs> well, I mean, that is true. I never even suspected, Aaron, that you needed glasses until you discovered that you needed glasses. You know, it's not like a kid is really all that into fashion as a kid. You know, I'm being bad. Progressives? What exactly are progressives, Becky? Because... Forgive me for being ignorant, but I'm going to be very, very ignorant. I don't think I know what progressives are. Hmm. That works. She looks sporty and having fun. <laughs> they just... I don't know. I... I don't hate glasses, and it's really funny because I've never actually needed them, and I always thought it would be really, really dumb to get the, uh, the glasses that aren't real, basically. Like, that just always seemed really not the thing to get. But I always kind of envied the people that wore glasses as stupidly, as stupid as that sounds. Alright, I've lost the robot sweatshirt. Where on earth did it go? Oh, bifocals. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense. Seriously, where did the robot sweatshirt go? Is this one? I probably... I, I was gonna say I probably need them. Because I haven't been back to a, a eye doctor in a very, very long time. But I'm not sure if I need them or not. Alright, I seriously lost the robot sweatshirt. Like, where did it go? Mm. Oh my gosh, I knew I should have just stayed with it. That's really cute. Does anyone remember where the robot sweatshirt went? <laughs> huh. The blue one with the owl? Alright. Oh, it was. Thank you, Aaron. I am very happy that people pay more attention than me. All right, sleepy time. I definitely think that sleep is just sleep, and we are good in probably just about whatever. I do know that I actually prefer sleeping in long sleeves. But 
not that same shirt that you were wearing earlier here. Go team! So how is everybody's week? My week has been extremely frantic. I'm sure Aaron and Kai's week has been equally... <clears throat> oh, I like that one. What do we think of that one with the cool gecko on it? Like, that's... that's very cute. Mm. Like, this, this is just sleepwear, so it's not like it's that big of a thing. But... I kind of have a thing for the gecko. Sorry about standing up there. I had to, like, shift my legs around. I think that works. Also, I have been so stressed this week that I actually broke out. It's terrible. Like, I am not happy. It's fine, though. It's fine. Everything's fine. Party, hmm. all right. Pants or dress for party wear? Because I am good for either. Well, I should say, she is good for either. Me, personally, tend to be pants for damn near everything. But, uh... That's me, that is not Eva. Hmm. So. Oh, also, I have a very, very funny thing that we can do with Tig when we get to him. Like, not as good as if I had more packs, but still. It, it's what I did with just his sort of blank slate model that I did with him. You'll see when we get to him. Uh, but yeah, pants or a dress. And this is, this is just basic party. Oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> Laura. Lori, Lori. Oh my gosh, so everybody's been having an insane... Lori, I am so sorry that, yeah, emotions are, <laughs> emotions do run amok. Becky, you're moving as well? Or, well, I'm not moving, Aaron is moving, so, but yeah, we, they had to get the house ready, we had all sorts of stuff, party jorts. I mean, we could throw her in overalls, but I'm not sure that her mother and sister would allow it. But we can look at just bottoms really quick and see what we have. It seems like it, it really has. Lori, I am, like, my heart goes out to you. That just makes everything so hard, especially when you have to work through it. It's, um, yeah, it's not good. How about capris? Go with maybe purple? Ooh, those are pretty. Cute little shoes. Hmm. I don't think yellow is going to be the, the default hmm. color for her uh, her shirt. That, that is not giving me not giving me wonderful vibes, but for a party... Oh, now that does not go with the pants, so never mind on that one. Those are really pretty, but none of the colors actually go... Okay, capris are acceptable. That is good to know, thank you. Now we just have to find a color that goes with... Like, we could get rid of the purple jorts. We could get... You know, that, that looks... Ca 
casual, but still, still party. Oh, man. Well, I'm gonna cross my fingers that you don't have to move, then, because that sounds like an ultimate nightmare. So, hopefully, if your landlady sells, you can just sign the contract with whoever buys the place, then. Because, yeah, moving is... moving is insane. And everybody, please, please, like, send all of the good vibes. I, I think we're, we've switched from the purple bottoms, because I think I'm actually into this look. But yeah, if everybody just sends us good home-selling vibes, because as soon as we load up and get on the road, the realtor is going to be showing the, the place that Aaron and Kai live at now. So hopefully it sells super, super fast. <laughs> That's our goal. It's super fast. And our other goal is if everybody just sends me, like, you know, positive vibes for this 11 hour, 11 to 12 hour car drive that we have to make Sunday with a cat who is probably not going to be very, very happy about it. So, <laughs> yeah, it'll be fine. Everything will be fine. Bathing suit time. Ooh. We've got this. I get this feeling that that might be our bathing suit. <laughs> like, I'm... I am feeling either that one or that one. Like, it just looks a little bit sportier and nicer. Yeah, the market is still good. I, I was a little bit afraid that our market was going to be not good, so... Oh my gosh. The place that, that Aaron and Kai are moving out of, that's going up for sale, I didn't buy it sight unseen, but it was pretty much the next thing to sight unseen. I was moving from down south to up north, and I had hmm. four days to drive 16 hours, find a house, and drive 16 hours back. So... <laughs> We didn't do a lot of hunting. Honestly, it, I'm not going to say it was the worst house in the world, but it is definitely a fixer-upper that I didn't fix up as much as I should. But that's okay. It's still a pretty good house, you know? And I think for somebody with more money than me, they can probably make it really, really nice. It should sell. Mostly because it's in a prime location for the city that it's in. Aaron, don't laugh at me calling where you live a city. Um, it's like, it's in the prime location because it's exactly halfway between the uptown shopping district and the downtown shopping district. Uh, Casey's, I have not tried downloading CC. I have downloaded one or two mods, but, um, I haven't tried downloading CC. It's not anything I'm against, it's just not anything I have done. Oh. A goblin hmm. bird. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think we are good with um, with this outfit. So let's move on to hot weather. And I think that oh, we forgot to give her her glasses for her party look. I knew I was forgetting something. There we go. All right. 
Hot weather, not those glasses, thank you very much. <laughs> you know, anything can make the game buggy, so... But, I like I said, I don't actually have anything against mods in CC, I just never remember what I actually want. And plus, I know me, if I start downloading CC, I'm never gonna stop. And then I won't have a computer anymore, I will just have a giant Sims folder full of stuff. <laughs> Alright, uh, party look. Let's see what we have in full body party looks. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Uh, dre- or not party look, um, hot weather look. Do we want a dress for hot weather, or do we want shorts and a tank top? What do we want? Like, I know when I'm hot, I tend to just be, sh like, comfy shorts. Mm. But she does have a mom and a sister who probably would like her to at least be semi-fashionable. That's cute. I actually like this little necklace that's on her, too. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> that's kinda cute. I like that shirt, actually. Ooh, but wait a minute, she might like that one better because it looks like an alien. Yeah, let's roll with the alien shirt, because that's just cute. She could definitely rock, rock it, and this is obviously what she is going to discover once she becomes an adult and uh, goes to space. Except now we're going to have to change her out of that necklace, because I'm not sure that that necklace actually goes with the rest of it. I have an alien in that group. Actually, that's kind of What do we think? That look like hot weather wear to you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, maybe that one. You know that almost looks like the Twitter bird. <laughs> I'm not sure which one I like. Not bad. Yeah, I'm I'm really into the alien shirt. That is very very Efa. She's definitely going to hmm. get all of the aliens, which she actually can't do unless I got a few more game packs. But you know, it's enough knowing that she could eventually. All right. Ooh, I like that jacket. You know, I, I'm so mi mixed on Twitter, like I realize that just like every other social media site, it's kind of a giant dumpster fire, but like every other social media site, it's kind mm -hmm. of also what you make of it. Because like, when I get tired of Twitter and, and seeing all sorts of stupid stuff, I start liking all of the wildlife and bird photography posts, and then my entire Twitter timeline is nothing but pretty birds and, and cats. Which is always kind of nice. Alright, winter clothing. I... Hmm. I really like that coat. 
Like, there are other coats, but I don't know that I've ever seen that coat, and I think I'm in love with it. Like, look at that. I want that coat. Not with those pants, so. Oh my gosh. She's kind of cute. Um, hat. Hat yes or hat no? And obviously those shoes have got to be changed because they are terrible. There we go. Nice boots. A different color on her gloves. Hmm. Yeah, we'll roll with that. Yeah, that coat is beautiful. Like, if I had it in my real life, I would want it to be a little bit longer, but it is... It, it almost gives me Sergeant Pepper's vibes. I kind of like it. Alright, let's move up here. Becky, is she a hat girl or is she a no hat girl? Because that is going to be our last thing, and then we can move on to Tig. She really is very cute. Hat? Alright, let's take a look at hats here. Now, is she a hat with a brim? Or is she a cozy knit hat with a brim? Hat with a little poof on it? Or is she an animal hat? Oh, I think she looks adorable in the hat. Oh my god, wait a minute. Like, she legit just looks very cute just about everything that we've put her in. Oh my gosh, actually? Wait. Twinsies! <laughs> I am twinning with the Sim now. She's very cute, but actually I don't think that that hat goes with that very well. But anyway, now that I have completely messed mm -hmm. everything up. Now that I am done twinning with the, with the Sim. <laughs> yeah, I don't like the animal hat with that jacket. I just think she's very cute in it. I kind of actually like this knit cap. Maybe not that color. Ah, uh, you know, I mean, that could be. Or she could wear a reindeer hat. Oh my god, that looks so silly. <laughs> I mean, we could say that she just doesn't care. She is like 12. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm so torn. It does go with the jacket. I don't know. Do we do blue hippo mm -hmm. monkey thing? Or do we do the knit flat cap? They're both very cute. I almost feel like her mom would definitely put her in that one, mm. and she might have the, the animal hat in her back pocket, and that's what she wears whenever she goes to school and is out of mom's sight. <laughs> yeah. Alright, we're gonna give her the knit flat cap, and then we are going to say that she has the animal hat in her back pocket or in her backpack as she heads off to school. 
So, really quick, we are going to go through and take a look at all of her looks. So this is Aoife, and she is very, very cute. This is her winter look, her hot weather look with her alien shirt, swimwear. We've got a uh, party look. We've got a sleepwear look. Athletic. Formal, when, when her mom definitely dresses her up. And her everyday with her stars. Now we are going to move on to Tig. Okay, so in Becky's write-up for Tig, which we do need to change his face and everything like that, we'll get to that. But in Becky's write-up, he not only loves dinosaurs, he wants to be a dinosaur. So... I found this dumb little outfit. I think it's supposed to be a costume, but I, I liked it because of the dinosaur hands. Unfortunately, if we put him in that, that's like mm. all he would be wearing. But I thought I would at least show it to you. But before we do all of that, we need to get this boy looking a little bit more like his family. Like, right now, he does not really go with anything in the family. Probably. Ooh, that's terrible. That is also terrible. Why are all of these pre-made children's faces so bad? That's a little bit better. Better. The boy needs a chin. That's okay. Like when when they the Sims gives you that like massively undershot chin. Okay. Take a look at Dad really quick. Dad, let's look at your face. The square. I can almost say it. Maybe. You definitely need to fix the skin tone. There we go. Then we need to fix this hair. <laughs> Spare a chin. <laughs> You know, there's a part of me that wants to give this family at least one redhead. Or, or sort of a chestnut hair. Becky, it, is there some red genetics in this family? Because I would love to have a redhead in the family. Oh my god, especially like a redhead with... Um, a redhead with freckles. Red-headed dinosaur mm. could be very cute. Oh my gosh! All right, good. I figured, being Scottish and Irish, that they they have got to have some redheads in there somewhere. What do we think? Do we like him with freckles too? Redhead and freckles. All right. Glasses or no glasses? And also, did I really do? Oh, hey. <laughs> I guess we need to pull him out of this outfit mm. that I stuck him in. I, I put him in this because it was hilarious. Like, you can have your child dress up as a panda bear, and it's quite amusing. Mm. You can also dress your child up as, like, whatever this is. And if I had more packs, you could do all sorts of more things. But that's what I've got as far as the packs. Alright. Anyway, back to his face here. 
No, it's not a dinosaur. I wish it was a dinosaur because that would be awesome and possibly, possibly if I buy any more packs as time goes on, I will have a dinosaur. Scotch Irish with red hair. <sighs> Redheads. I almost dated a redhead once. Almost. Didn't actually happen. Alright, curly hair or not curly hair? Or like wavy hair like that? And glasses or no glasses? Also, well, is my hair that stupid? Yes. Like, we could go. Oh, God, look at how cute he is! Red hair, freckles, and glasses. You know? Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Okay. And he loves dinosaurs. He's growing on me. He's growing on me a lot. <laughs> Alright, we are going to have our curly red hair. I like it. Now, clothing. Everyday clothing. Obviously, we are not going to leave him dressed as an elf. But, it did amuse me that <clears throat> there is this, but if he wears this, there's like nothing else that he would be wearing. But I definitely think that that should be his at least sleepwear with the, uh, the dinosaur hands, because that lets him live out his dinosaur mm. desires. I'm trying to see if they have any... Oh my god, they have dinosaur shoes. <laughs> I'm kind of in love. He can wear dinosaur sore shoes, like, all the time, but I don't know if we want to actually keep him in this look for his everyday look. I, I am sure that, um, that Aoife and Callum, or not Aoife and Callum, but, uh, Siobhan and Callum probably let him express himself, but they might not let him run around dressed like this all the time. It might actually be a Yoda costume. Let me look. Because I'm thinking... It is. <laughs> but it's kind of dinosaur-ish. I mean, we're not going to keep him in the Yoda look, but... Um, you know... But we can leave him with the shoes, because that kind of looks like dinosaur feet, and this can actually be his sleepwear. And then, you know, for everything else, well, obviously. Hey, look, that even goes. Check it out, man. I mean, he wants to be a dinosaur, and who are we to stop him? <laughs> oh, hey, there's a, uh, a raccoon out on the porch. I don't think you'd be able to see her if I turned the camera, but there is a raccoon out on the porch. He's also very, very cute. I bet we can find some sort of a dinosaur shirt for almost everything that he needs to do. Maybe. Hmm. No, that's llamas. That's not dinosaurs. Hmm. That is all unicorns. I think that's... I think that's a dinosaur. 
All right, Becky, what are his colors? Oh, that is totally a dinosaur. Okay. Oh my gosh, that's a very cute dinosaur, too. Hmm. Oh, there, there is... Oh, that's very bright. See, you would think that there would be a dark green dinosaur shirt. There doesn't... On green and blue? We'll leave it with blue for right now. I mean, it's blue and red, unfortunately. And we'll look through the rest of these shirts really quick just to see if there are any other dinosaurs. That's a turtle. That's not a dinosaur. I know dinosaur. That's a doofy looking dinosaur. Alright, does not look like there is much else in the dinosaur. Okay. That works for me, Becky. I'm just going to look through really quick to see if we have any other dinosaur shirts. Alright, well, we have a dinosaur. Now the question is, do we keep him in his, his unique feet for his everyday look, or should we actually give him real shoes? I love Dino Boy! He's absolutely fantastic. We'll come back to the feet. It, we, we can decide on his feet. Now this poor boy probably can't be a dinosaur for um, formal occasions. Real shoes? <laughs> All right, we'll go back and work on real shoes here in a minute. You know, I, it's, it is sort of one of those things where it's like, well, how? I mean, I think if it's up to him, he's gonna be wearing the dino feet like 24 seven, mm. but is it really truly up to him? He, he is still, I think, what is he, Be Becky? You said he's like nine? So he'll, he gets some autonomy, but I'm not sure that he gets full autonomy yet. All right, I guess for formal wear, we're just gonna go so basic and just let him be in boring formal wear, but you know, there's not much you can do with a kid with formal wear. Athletic. Dino toes at home. Well, I mean, you know, the, uh, the everyday look is kind of... Uh, I can actually check really quick, Becky. Let me just flip over. Oh! Tig is actually seven. So, he definitely is not going to have full-on autonomy as far as all that goes. So, let me just this. There we go, so I can actually see that. Alright, uh, Aaron has just reminded me that I do need to actually sleep at some point, so we've got to finish off these looks, so let us just go ahead and get him another dino shirt for his sports look. Dino on there. A turtle is almost a dinosaur if we can't find an actual dinosaur. That's a marshmallow. I think that there was... 
There we go. That's a cutesy dinosaur, but still a dinosaur. Actually goes pretty good. Mm. Possibly even a nice pair of socks. Like for sporty, that works. But I am gonna say for sleepwear, he is rocking the whole Yoda look. <laughs> like for sleepwear, I am letting him rock his. I am. I am a mm. professional paleontologist. Oh yeah, definitely. And even in his formal... I mean, we could probably switch him to... A blue coat. I don't think that there's an actual green one. Uh, tails. That's very cute. I actually like this one better, though. He can wear blue. That works. Party look! That is... That is unique, Tig. at a party you can wear your paint splattered pants. Hmm. Oh, I want some of these shirts. That's a fish, that's not a dinosaur. Can't fool me. Bunch of bunny. just a unicorn that is no fun at all oh you, you think uh, you think he'd rock out with the mm. I mean that is his sleepwear though too <laughs> I don't know though what do you think Becky like, we could say that he is full-on Yoda for every party. Hmm. <laughs> he shows up and he's like, but I thought it was a costume party. Becky, do you think that his mom would let him... Yeah, I'm, I, I was going to say, I'm not sure that Siobhan... Good night, Lori. Um, sleep well. I should be streaming next week. Uh, not going to give you a 100% chance on that, but I will update it on the community tab if I'm not in town. So, as of right now, we should be on for next Friday, same time as always, but... If not, keep an eye on everything. But sleep well, feel better. I'll be thinking about you, and I hope everything, like, gets way better. Mm. Becky? Yoda or not for the party? You know, it might not. She she does have six children. Hmm. I know I was I, I think I was a pretty permissive mom in general. 
Like, there were things that you fight over, and there were things that you don't fight over. Alright. We're going with Yoda. Child, get that hat off your head. And put on some sunglasses. There we go. Prescription sunglasses, obviously. <laughs> That's true, she is lucky that the kid has pants on. What's this? Hey, that, that looks like a snake with wings. I am calling that a dinosaur. I, I call it, that is a dinosaur. We have our swimwear. Too scoop, yeah. He might be. Might be. Oh yeah, th those were good shades. <laughs> I think I think both of my kids at least were always clothed in public. Getting my kids to wear shoes was a battle that I gave up on. But, yeah, well, we have one more kid to do. And that will not take too long if we stop talking. Don't mind me, I'm, I will... Put him in his favorite t-shirt, and then we're gonna go with winter clothing, and he definitely, I feel like, is probably gonna get his glasses, and he is definitely a hat boy. And... Oh my god, that one has ears. Yeah, I know you hate shoes. Okay, Becky, 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 what do we think of this hat? Because it has dino dinosaur elf ears. <laughs> like, I'm kind of in love with it, but that's just me. Yeah, I would believe that. I mean, I don't have to have this hat, but... It, it is making me giggle. Like, not gonna lie. We love the hat? Alright, cool. We love the hat. Now we just need... Something... That I've never used. Oh, that actually goes with the hat. I am implying that elves are wonderful, and and that is all I'm implying. Hey Naruto, how are we doing? We are playing, well not playing The Sims, we're just um, making a family mm. that we thought up while we were building a house. Actually. I'm rolling with it. Is it silly? Yes. Is he seven or eight? Yes. So there we go. We will go through his looks really quick. So this is Tig, Tig Campbell. This is his cold weather look. His hot weather look. His uh, swimwear. His party and when he says party, he means costume party. Thank you very much. Um, I'm not going to be playing The Sims tonight. I do play The Sims every Saturday morning. Not live, but I have a Sims um, video every Saturday on my channel. And then Ooh. I'm thinking about maybe... Maybe doing... Sims gameplay on live streams, but I have not completely made up my mind yet. If I do, it would be for fun challenges and stuff like that. 
usually on our lives we've been building and just doing stuff like that i'm not sure what we're gonna do going forward but you never know because i mean we did make this wonderful family we might actually have to play with them all right his sleepwear he is still rocking the dinosaur yoda look athletic tig is a dinosaur lover and so that is usually reflected in most of his clothing all right we have one more one more to make tonight before i get off of here since as aaron keeps reminding me i have a lot of hours of driving ahead in the morning i don't want to think about it It'll be fine, Mel. Okay, there we go. This is Molly Campbell, who is our super genius. She is a very independent baby. Oh, I did forget to do that, didn't I? Uh, Tig, his traits. He is an artistic prodigy who loves animals, especially dinosaurs. And then Aoife is a whiz kid and a genius. Oh, I would love to have the vampire pack. I don't have it. It's one of those that's on my wish list, but I do not own. <laughs> but Molly, um, at age three, how much hair does Molly have? Also, I get the feeling that she is probably a curly-haired child, considering everyone in this family seems to be curly. Gosh, look! That's adorable! Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, that's, that's very cute. <laughs> At least shoulder length? Okay. We can do that. Oh my gosh, look at all that hair in that ponytail. That is very, very cute. You know, yeah. I don't think I have a lot of hair. Hey, this baby is three years old. I could, I could see it. You can have a decent amount of hair as a three-year-old. Or you can have very short hair, but then she sort of looks like her older brother. <laughs> oh, in your playthrough? Yeah, I hate it when your sims die. It's always a little bit traumatic. Okay, I think my favorite hair on her so far is that ponytail. <laughs> what do we think of the ponytail? She's so cute! Oh my god, she's adorable. <laughs> oh wow. You know, in my family, <laughs> I have got a whole lot of hair. And my oldest son has just as much hair as me, and unfortunately, my other child didn't end up with all that. So, I mean, it's fine. I think both of my kids are wonderful in every way. Becky, are we girly girly, or... I mean, I know that she already wants to be a hacker at age three, and she already has tried to sell her baby baby brother on eBay. But are we girly or are we we not girly? Yeah. Or are we just yeah. toddlery? 
Yes, I know you're bald, Aaron. I'm sorry that you didn't end up with the, like, super thick, super long hair gene. That's not my fault. Like, that is a thousand percent not my fault. I do not control yeah. <laughs> Gosh, she's so cute. Oh my god, I don't think I have ever actually seen that costume. <laughs> <laughs> I think I love it. I mean, I'm not gonna put her in it, but that's very cute. You know, she might try to sell her baby brother Bitcoin. Smart, active, and mom wants to dress her girly. Gotcha! Do we have a color that we like for her? Is, is mom dressing her in pinks and purples, or... <laughs> oh my gosh, look at Oh, or she could be in cute yellows. <laughs> yes, I, I did read that in the, the bit that you sent me. <laughs> oh my Okay, she is very, very cute. Pink? Alright. Do we want <laughs> I don't think that was a pinata, Aaron. Do we want her in a cute little pantsuit or the cute little jumper? I I am to a degree. Like I take a lot of feedback on these and we we built the house Naruto. We built the house that this family lives in, and as we were building the house, we sort of developed the, the people that lived in the house in our heads, and now we're making it into a reality. Pink and yellow? That is actually cute. Alright, but do we want pants, or do we want... So, yellow jumpsuit, or pink dress with a bunny? <laughs> okay, Cottage Living did a lot for this this game pack. Pants, dresses for par party. Got it! Alright! <laughs> shoes or no shoes? <laughs> we will go with the dress for the, the formal and party look then. We, we will compromise. Like, does she run around the house barefoot, or does mom actually make her wear cute little shoes? Well, we could also switch it to... Shoes? Yeah. Right. <laughs> like, we could also toss her into... Shorts. <laughs> We just cannot compromise at all, can we? Oh, yeah, socks might work. That and... Oh my god, and they look like slippers. Alright, you know what? I think she's adorable. Do we like this outfit, or do we like the other one better? <laughs> like, I'm not gonna lie, I think she's very, very cute. Let's see if there's anything better... Oh wait! I found the perfect compromise. It's yellow and pink. We just need to switch the socks. <laughs> there we go. Alright. Formal wear. That That is not going to do for formal wear. But that <laughs> Or we could go total little princess outfit. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god, okay, that is 
very cute. Ooh! I think that one almost represents their Scottish her heritage, like, a thousand percent. I don't actually know if that is what the the Campbell tartan looks like, but yeah. I can pretend that it is. <laughs> that one with the tartan or do we want to actually make it look a little bit more princessy <sighs> yeah we can look through stockings molly molly is intimidating is molly going to be in pink hearts or is molly going to be in tartan <laughs> <laughs> well, as as I keep getting told, I I cannot stay up forever tonight, uh, because I do have a very long drive tomorrow. <laughs> That's true, it does depend on which parent decides. I, I'm kind of into the tartan, though. I don't want to put... I mean, we could probably paint her nails, but I don't know. She's a three-year-old. <laughs> like, I, I don't know how much mom would... Uh... Although mom actually might be into painted nails, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> All I know is I don't actually like any of these leggings, so I'm going to go ahead and take those off. Dad should get to decide sometimes. I mean, I don't know. We could do multiple colors for formal wear. It doesn't really show. She is daddy's girl. She is daddy's girl, but she acts so much like her mother. I kind of love that for her, though. Alright, that works. Sleepy time! Okay, she could be very, very posh. And just wander around the house looking like a little executive. Or she could be yeah. very, 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 very cute <laughs> in her little hooded onesie. So what should it be? Should she be posh or should she be adorable? What do we think? There's, there's a part of me that kind of just likes this because she's very intimidating, but <laughs> at the same time, that is, okay, yeah, we'll roll with the onesie. Party look, alright. Party look, I think we could just go with that dress that we wanted, that we couldn't decide. And just put her in that. We could go with yellow, or we could go with the pink version. She's so cute. Oh my god, she's so cute. I'm just gonna keep saying that, but it's true. She is very... Oh, or a unicorn. Okay. Becky, should we go with the unicorn? I'm, I'm kind of digging the unicorn look. I 
Actually, I even like those shoes. Yeah. <laughs> Well, this has got the yellow pants and the yellow bottom to the rainbow. Like, that is just really cute. Unicorn, I am all over it. Works for me. Oh, we, we do love unicorns. I think we put a unicorn in the bathroom, didn't we? too much in swimwear for toddlers. Oh, wait a minute. I lied. <laughs> I, I, what, what do we think? I'm kind of digging the, the whale. That is really cute. Oh, or there's a, an orca. That. I vote that. That is very, very cute. Oh my god. You know, you can kind of tell she's going to grow up to be the boss of everything. And that works for me. The orca wetsuit is adorable. Definitely shades like her brother. Well, if we have shades like her brother. Let me look. No, it looks like we're going to have to go with the bug-eyed shades. Otherwise, it's something like that, and that just looks kind of silly. But, you know what else we could do? Take that off. <laughs> there we go. That way she won't burn. We could even go maybe with... Give her a pop of color. I like it. I actually really do like these sun hats. They are really cute. I wish I looked good. <laughs> That is something I have never managed to do. Although I also like her ponytail look, so... Alright, hot weather. <laughs> oh, we like the pink hat? Alright. We can throw that pink hat back on. her hair. I mean, it kind of just looks like her hair is all gathered. But let me see. That would actually show that she has hair. I mean, at the same time, we could do something like that. But it kind of defeats her having such poofy hair. I think we'll just leave it. Now we just need to get her some hot weather clothing. Alright, no, we already did. I th no, this isn't the same thing. Yeah! <laughs> We also want something that's a little bit more of a hot pink. <laughs> I don't know, that doesn't go, it does the... Oh, that goes, that... 
color-wise that matches. At least decently. You can definitely tell I am not the person to color coordinate people's outfits for them. But, uh, I do my best. Oh, I like it with those shoes, too. And cold weather. She is very, very cute. Okay. This is like my default toddler cold weather look because it is the cutest outfit I think I've seen in a long time. It does come in different colors. But, like, oh my gosh, look at that. It is like the cutest little thing. <laughs> I do like some of the clothes in, in The Sims. Not all of them. But I do like at least some of the Sims clothes. I don't know if we like green or not. I just started throwing green because she is just very, very cute and it kind of completes a look. I don't know, what do we think? Or did we like one of the other outfits a little bit better? Or one of the other colors, even? <laughs> I still like this green. Alright guys, help me out. Do we like the, the green, or should I go stick with pink? Or should we try one of the other winter looks? Yeah, I'm, I'm really, I'm into the green a lot. Very, very cute. Green? All right. And do we roll with a winter hat? That hat does not go at all. Oh my god, it's a pig! Aaron, Aaron, it's Lechonk! I mean, it's not really, but it's close. <laughs> it is Lechonk. <laughs> oh, that's an owl. None of those actually go with that coat, though, which is too bad. You know what they need is just the, uh, the head thing. Like the ear warmers. That's what they need. Like, we, we could put her in the shulk. She doesn't have to be perfectly put together. We like it? Even with the... Alright, we will keep Le Chonk. We, we, we are with Le Chonk. We are good. And I think that is golden. So, I think what we are going to do is go really quick through her... Yeah, earmuffs would be fantastic. I wish that they had it. Unfortunately, they don't. Which is sad. Alright, but this is Molly Campbell with her winter look. Her hot weather look, which is very, very cute. Her swimwear with her, her wetsuit. She is obviously a very stylish young, young child. Her unicorn party look. Her very cute pink onesie. Her formal wear styled by her father. Yeah! And her everyday <laughs> run around the house and just be... A little bit spoiled, a little bit sneaky, but still a wonderful kid. So that is the Campbell family. And like I said, baby Liam <laughs> is still too young to do anything and create a sim, but he is there. 
I am going to make sure to upload these guys to the gallery in case anyone wants to play with them and maybe, who knows, maybe we will actually play with this family a little bit in our next stream or maybe we'll do something yeah. totally yeah. different. But uh, as Aaron has, has mentioned to me a couple times on the DMs, I do have yeah. a lot of driving <laughs> to do over the next couple days. So I'm going to call it here. Thank you so, so much for joining me as we made the Campbell family. Um, okay. Liam at the moment is a girl because I had to get <laughs> Siobhan pregnant because the Sims won't let you make an infant just in create a Sim. You can only make them the, the natural way. And I don't have any mods on my game, so it was a 50-50 chance as to if Liam was going to be female or male. Came out female, we can always switch it up later. You can always go back in. But yes, as Aaron said, streams are every Friday at 10 p.m. But uh, hopefully next week I will have a stream. I am 95% sure that I will be home by then, but with the house sale and everything, I'm never entirely sure <laughs> what's going to be happening. But so far, I have been able to make every Friday at 10 p.m. Eastern. We yeah. play The Sims, we talk, we talk books, we have all sorts of fun. But thank you so much for coming, and be sure and hit the, the thumbs up on your way out if you want to. It always makes me smile, and hopefully I will see you guys next week. Have a great night.